Q's Blog and Grill. My wife Susan had this book. I would read it for laughs. <laughs> like, well, you know what? One of the best compliments we ever got came from a man who was in his 80s. He called our office years ago. And he said, I bought your cookbook on the weekend. Uh, never cooked a meal in my life, probably never will, but I bought it because I thought it was so funny. I'm going to keep it in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, and wow. I said, I think that's a compliment. And that's where all the fiber ends up anyway. <laughs> Janet says, we printed it on two-ply paper just for you. You guys were absolutely, I felt, through the book itself, authentic and wanting to be helpful. You know, it's, it's a personal brand to the nth degree because I, we do everything. We're not just the face, but we respond to all the tweets, all the Facebook posts, the phone calls, the emails, it's really us. And so we've developed a loyal following on Facebook because people have figured out that's really Janet and Greta posting. And they're yeah. responding to me when I ask a question. So we've always been very careful to keep it very personal with people. Um, it's also really casual. We are the farthest things from food snobs and elitist. You know, people often fret when I'm coming over to their house for dinner about what they're going to make. I would right. say to them, if you made me craft dinner with cut up hot dogs in it and put ketchup on it, I'd be really happy. There you go. Because yeah. I like everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I am a health nut, but that doesn't mean that people have to go overboard to prepare me something special. And right. like I, we're just so easy to get along with. And we're not, our books are, are made for people who are eight or 80 or they're a novice chef or they're a trained professional. Like it doesn't really matter. And so we've always tried to keep that sort of casual feeling. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do it. Everybody's welcome. And it's also a brand that I feel that um, it's very happy and fun mm -hmm. and positive. Um, we don't criticize anybody. We don't say, don't eat this or you're going to die. We say, eat this and you'll be well. You know, we try to spin it that way. Right. So we don't want to take away from you. We want to give. Right. And so people are drawn to that. I think it's one of the reasons their books have done so well. People say to us, I feel really good when I'm cooking from it. I open it. It's happy. It's fun. It's easy. My kids like it. My yeah. husband likes it. And, yeah. and then that, that starts the word of mouth. And in, and in our business, word of mouth is what sells books. It's not being on TV. You, can, you, have, you need to start it that way. You need to promote it so everybody knows you have mm -hmm. a book out. You do right. all the Canada AMs and city lines of the world. Right. But with a cookbook, it's going to be Susie talking to Betty, talking to Mary, yeah. talking at the dinner party. And that's right. how you get the sales. It's right. developing that relationship so that people want to become your ambassador. Now, you guys have a new YouTube uh, thing going on. Um, it just started. Nuts. Health yeah, nuts. we just yeah. created a YouTube channel called Health Nuts with Janet and Greta because mm -hmm. we have been tinkering with the idea of going back into television. But we're not sure what we would like to do. Mm -hmm. So we're sort of testing the waters. We're right. creating these little professionally done videos with a crew uh, that are, you know, five, six minutes long about the attention span of somebody yes. on YouTube. Right. Uh, but they're fun. They're informative. You're going to learn something. You're going to learn how to make a new recipe. You'll understand why you should be making it. You know, I show you how to do it. Janet tells you why. She's a registered holistic nutritionist. Right. So when I'm cooking with avocado, she's telling you why she, you should be interested in them. When I'm cooking with spices, she, spices, she's telling you why they're good for you. So it's a really good balancing act between yeah. what I do and what she does. And a lot of cha has changed in the world of cooking and nutrition since we started in 1996. So when we wrote the Looney Spoons Collection, our newest, biggest book, we took those older, outdated recipes and we revised them and healthified them to right. be more for the current times, right. better carbs, better fats, 150 gluten-free recipes, that sort of thing. More and, relevance, and whatever still we fun. do in the future will will obviously reflect all of those trends. AQ's blog and grill.